Hey guys, welcome back to the Great Dane channel. If you're new here, we upload on weekends and Wednesdays, and it's just life with two Great Danes and Reggie, the Wonder Dog. And uh, today, I'm just gonna show you how I can take Finn down to the mailbox and back using this training collar from PetSafe. And it has an audible tone, vibrate, as well as static. I never need anything but the audible tone at this point in time. And just having it on, Finn's much more uh, respectful of commands and does a great job. So check it out. Well, I got him back when he was just a pup. Way back then I could pick him up. Now he barely fits into my pickup truck. Yeah, but he's doing all right. And it's a great day and stand six foot five. He was going to win. No, no, no. Get the house. Get the house. So Finn's got the collar. No, Reggie, stay. Finn, come. Finn, come. Reggie, stay. Finn, come. Finn, come. Reggie, stay. Good boy. No, nope, get in the house. Magic, you stay too. Sorry. So here we are with Finn. Let's go. Come on. Just going to walk down. Watch his Finn. Sit. Sit. All the way. Sit. There you go. Finn, stay. Walk down here a little ways. Finn, come. Finn, come. Good boy. Finn, sit. Sit. Hey, sit. Come on. Now I'll just give him one audible tone. Sit. Good boy. No, you're, come on, sit. That's it, that's it. Okay, now heel. Heel, yeah, we're gonna go down to the mailbox. That's a good boy. Finn, sit. Good boy, stay. Sit, stay. So he's over there. I'll get the mail. It's a bunch of junk. Heel. Good boy. Get in the house. Let's go. Yeah. Good boy. Good boy. Finn, come. Come. Come on. Good boy. Let's get in the house. Get in the house. Good boy. Let's go. Good boy. Get in the house. So my mom is the one. Somebody took the three bed stack while we were getting ready for the family picture. Right here. Oh, Isn't he crazy, Heidi? He's crazy. Tom is crazy. Well, I thought you might like to see a cat visit too. So here we are with the cats. Hi, kitties. Hemingway weighed 13.5. And Willow was 8.7. Huh, Willow? Huh? Hi, kitty. It's okay. Cats hate the vet. Come on up here. Come on. Come on. Kitty. Here, kitten. got their weight and now we're just gonna get some shots. Good kitties. They definitely just want to hide in the corner. <laughs> oh, Willow's getting a checkup. So eating and drinking well. 
Yeah, they get a can, two cans of little fancy feast split between them a day, at morning and evening, and then dry food is kind of on a free Munch feeding. On it throughout the day. Okay. Using mm-hmm. the litter box fine. Yep. Okay. Good. And this one plays fetch like constantly. Oh, isn't that fun when you get a great rear? There's always going to be character, hopefully. Hi. Good job. And then we'll go over the left shoulder for the feline respiratory vaccine. And I always say Holly's the bad guy for this. <laughs> Good job. Good girl. You're wonderful. She's like five, six pounds to so thirteen point four. But it's probably been a while. It, no, it totally has. Yeah, that's but definitely like a four month old. We baby. talk about their primordial belly that <laughs> all cats all put that. on. Yes, even like the big like tigers and lions. Right. You know. Good. He's definitely built much larger too. Oh yeah, it's hard to believe they're the same litter. Yeah, like his his like Good whole skull and everything, and his. Nose is more pronounced. Good job, boy. He's got his paws and going his extra still. Feet. Yeah, oh, yeah. Look at those toes. Show the camera your little poly dots. He's got little head. like um growths. Is that normal? That is. These are little like um kind of corns that pop up there. We call them like horny growths that pop up on the toe pads, and they're one all of them, and they're normal. They don't have to be removed no. or anything or cause any issues. Good. Oh, he's a little sweaty on his paw pad. So <laughs> they don't have sweat glands anywhere, so they can only get rid of heat by either panting or sweating out of their paw pads. So. Oh, wow. When they're a little nervous. But do you think, do cat's nails need to be trimmed or do they handle themselves? I've got plenty of scratching posts everywhere. Cats are generally pretty good at handling it themselves, but, um, so they're not like dogs where you need to do it, mm-hmm. you know, all, often and all the time. So if you just find like, I would, because of the extra toes, I would check his paws every so often because the grow in. the inside thumbs, yes, so they don't grow okay. in. Like maybe like, you know, every other week. But they look okay is, for now. Yeah. Good job. And then we get the vaccines. We try to go lower on the leg. Uh-huh. And their vaccines. Oh, your little feet. What are you doing? Into things. Oh, that's his just dusty. Is he always? Yeah, that's the color? coloration. Yeah. Oh, that's so funny. It totally looks like he's got dirt into something. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> no. I that would, is cool looking. I would yeah. hate to see them get outside. They are total upstairs indoor cats. And uh, oh, yeah, that would be. They have window ledges <laughs> and cat trees and all that. All right, we're here. Good job. Oh. You are so brave. Mm-hmm. And then feeling respiratory. Good job. Okay, you did great. Job. You're going to make it. They both might be sleepy for the rest of the day. Who could tell? Yeah, I know. Right, they're young still, so great. they may not miss a beat. They may take their cat nap and then be fine. Thanks, Dr. Kelly. You're welcome. That's going with Finn to get the mail. Pretty simple stuff. He's a good boy. Hope you liked it. Have a great day. Ding, ding, ding.